What's up, my friends? Will Mitchell from Startup Bros here, and today we are talking about duties and tariffs, which are essentially just taxes that you're going to be paying anytime you import physical products from another country. And for anyone trying to launch a physical product brand, whether it's an Amazon business, a Shopify business, or a retail business, if you're going to be importing products from other countries, you need to be able to quickly and accurately figure out what are the duties and tariffs going to be on these different products that you're looking at importing. But when you're first getting started, it can be pretty overwhelming to look at the duties and tariffs and figure out what is it actually going to cost me to import this product? Are there going to be unforeseen extra costs that I don't know about? And ultimately, what is going to be the most profitable product for me to start selling? So in this video, I'm going to show you how anyone can quickly find exactly what the duties and tariffs are going to be on any product out there. So you guys can figure out what is going to be the most profitable product for you to start selling. First of all, let's cover what duties and tariffs actually are, which, like I mentioned, they're pretty much just taxes that are placed on top of your declared value whenever you're importing a product from overseas. But technically, duties and tariffs are different things. Duties are a blanket tax that applies to an entire category of products, no matter where it's produced. So for instance, if you are importing forks into the United States, you're going to pay a 5.3% duty rate, which means for every $1,000 of forks that you're importing, you're going to pay an extra $53 in taxes. Now, that duty rate is actually pretty high. I think the average duty rate in the U.S. is something like 1.3% or something. So duties are typically pretty low, but on top of duties, you're also going to have to pay tariffs. Tariffs are basically another duty tax, but they are targeted at specific countries. So for instance, if we were importing gold and silver forks and spoons and they were coming from China, we would only have a 3% duty rate. But because they're coming from China, we would have an extra 25% tariff on top of that. Both your duty rate and your tariffs are going to be applied to your declared value of the shipment. So in this example with our precious metal silverware, we're going to be paying $280 in total import fees, $30 for our 3% duty rate and $250 for that additional 25% tariff. So as you can see, screwing up this calculation can have a massive impact on your profitability. And a lot of new sellers don't realize that you're paying customs this fee, these taxes, after you've already paid your supplier. So you want to figure this out early and you want to be confident in the number that you're pulling out. So how do we figure out what the duties and tariffs on any product are going to be? The tariffs and duties that your products are actually charged are going to be determined by something called an HS code. So the government is not actually opening up every single container that comes through customs, they allow you to classify your shipments on your own and they trust you to be honest with what you owe them. Whenever you import something from overseas, your supplier or you or your freight forwarder is going to put an HS code on that shipment. An HS code, they go by many different names, an import code, a tariff code, a customs code. It is a six digit number that tells customs what your product actually is. So your HS code basically determines what the duties and taxes of your product are going to be. So U.S. Customs is literally going to take your HS code, plug it into the harmonized tariff schedule, and that's how they're going to determine the duties and tariffs on your shipment. Now, finding the right HS code can be very time consuming and very confusing. Ain't nobody got time for that. What most people do is just mindlessly search around the harmonized tariff schedule database. But as you'll see, the government likes to make everything outrageously complex. And none of this even makes sense to me, even after doing it for almost 20 years now. Even when you do find the right HS code, it is really tough, especially for newbies, to be confident that that HS code and the duty rate and the tariff that they've brought up is actually going to be what they're charged when the product comes over the border. So let's jump into my computer here and I'm going to show you a simple three step process, how you can find the right HS code and determine the duties and tariffs for any product you're looking to import. The first step is to find the right HS code for your product. And there's a really simple and accurate way to do this. You see any any company that imports products from overseas has to have what's called a bill of lading with each shipment. And the bill of lading has all sorts of 
awesome private information that you can actually get your hands on because it is public records. Personally, I use a tool called Jungle Scout for this. And if you guys want Jungle Scout, I got an awesome deal for you at startupros.com slash Jungle Scout. We'll put a link below, but it's 30% off for life if you use that link. I use Jungle Scout for their supplier research tool all the time. It allows me not only to figure out what the HS codes are going to be on different products that I'm importing, but it also allows me to spy on all of my competitors' shipments and it's just an awesome research and intelligence tool. So let's hop in and let's find some HS codes. So this is Jungle Scout supplier research tool right here. And there's a lot of free tools that will allow you to do the same thing. I'm going to show you some of them as well. But this is my favorite tool because it allows you to actually search by product, which is really useful. So let's say just as an example, we're going to do bamboo straws. And what Jungle Scout just did here is pulled up and went through all of the import records that exist and it pulled up everything where bamboo straw exists inside of the shipment. Whenever you import anything from overseas, your bill of lading is going to have all of this information on it. It's going to have who your supplier is, what is actually inside of the shipment, what is the HS code that goes along with that shipment, and then how big is the shipment? It, you know, and there's a bunch of other information on top of that. But this is the really relevant and useful information for us as Amazon sellers, as e-commerce sellers. And as you can see here, we can find a bunch of different HS codes. Now, we have to be really specific because you can see like ready-made garments. Well, this is probably someone that imported ready-made garments in the same container as some bamboo straws. So you do have to be careful and try to find, you know, the specific, here's a bamboo straw with brush. That's really, it sounds a lot more specific, right? So this is probably going to be our HS code right here. But let me show you a couple free ways to do this as well. There's a couple other sites, importgenius.com and importkey.com. Both of these allow you to go through and pull all of these same records as Jungle Scout. And they're both paid tools. But Import Genius and Import Key both allow you to get some free information out of them. The way I would recommend using it for this specific purpose is to actually use Google and search throughout the entire Import Genius or Import Key website for the specific product that you're trying to find here. So if we're doing bamboo straws, as you can see, here's a bunch of different shipments that contain bamboo straws. And we can start to see the HS codes sometimes unavailable. So we'll keep digging but we can start to see the HS codes that were used on all of these different things. So here's an H HS code right here for bamboo straws. And as you can see, we've already found two potential HS codes for us to check out. What do we do now that we have these HS codes? Now we wanna take these over to the actual US Customs Harmonized Tariff Schedule database, and you can search through all of the different HS codes that exist. So let's go ahead and type in both of our HS codes that we found. Typically, HS codes are going to be at least six numbers. Anything less than six, you're not going to pull much up. As you can see here, this one wasn't really useful for us. So that's not going to be the HS code for us, obviously. Let's see the one that Jungle Scout found for us here. And as you can see, this says bamboos here, vegetable material of a kind used for plating. So this is definitely a, a potential uh, HS code that sounds like it would work for a bamboo straw. What you can actually do to figure out, you know, is this the correct HS code? If you click this little link right here, you'll actually bring up all of the different customs rulings, the actual court rulings having to do with this HS code classification. So inside of here, you can actually go through and really read the specifics of is a bamboo straw going to fit into this? or is that going to be an incorrect placement? So we can see, you know, bamboo poles, bamboo stakes, all of these things were correctly classified in here. Let's pull up one more HS code for bamboo straws just for fun, just to see what else we could do here. In Jungle Scout, one of the things I like is that you can click best matches here and it will only come up with the very best matches for what you're searching for. This is the same HS code we found before. So obviously that HS code is probably going to work for us. It looks like in almost every single circumstance, that is the HS code that's being used. So you can be very confident that 
that HS code is at least going to work. Now, once you're up and selling this product, you may decide that you want a better HS code and you go dig in and you really find, you know, five different HS codes that companies have used successfully for your product. But right now we are just trying to get a quick and accurate estimate. What is it going to cost to get this product to us? And is it going to be profitable for us to start a business with it? So now that we know that this is the HS code that we are probably going to use, or at least it's one that's going to work. Now we can figure out what the actual duties and tariffs of our product are going to be. So we know our HS code. We're confident that it's going to work. All we have to do is go over to the right and we are going to figure out our rate of duty. In terms of actually reading this, your general rate of duty is most of the time all you're going to care about. So the general rate of duty here is free for our bamboo straws, but you could see with some other products, it might be 2%, 4.4%. So you could see that the, the rate of duty does vary. But the general duty rate is generally all you're going to care about. You also want to take a look at the special duty rate. I, even in my career, I, I've rarely ever found a situation where this applied to me. But sometimes with certain products, the U.S. will have some type of free trade agreement, some situation where, you know, there might be a duty rate everywhere else in the world, except for products coming from Australia or co products coming from the Bahamas or something. So the special rate of duty, you know, I, I've never had a product that this applied to, I don't think, but that is something to look at. And that's what that means. And then this column two here, you don't have to be too worried about. This only applies and you can mouse over this little info section here. If you do want to read about what this applies to, you can see the rate of duty in column two applies to products from Cuba and North Korea. So unless you are importing products from Cuba and North Korea, you can completely forget about column two here. And really all you're going to be looking at is that general rate of duty. What is that percentage? So you would think that's it, but it's not. You're going nowhere. There's a whole lot more. We have to figure out what the tariffs are on this product, if there are any at all. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the same HS code that we've been using. We are going to go back to the home page for the harmonized tariff schedule. And right here under the search bar, you can see it has a list of all of the Chinese tariffs that exist right now. So let's go ahead and download that. And we are just going to search for the HS code that we have right here, not the additional descriptors and classifiers. So for our product, it's going to be 1401.10. In some places, you'll see like Jungle Scout, it's listed like this. So you might have to switch that up from time to time. But as you can see, it came up fairly simply right here. Because our HS code is on this list, we now have to check this additional corresponding HS code, which indicates that there is some sort of tariff on top of our duty rate. So now we're going to take this additional HS code. We're going to go back to the harmonized tariff schedule search. We're going to put that in. And you can see here that the duty provided is applicable plus 25 percent. So, guys, as you can see here, this product, the bamboo straws have no duty rate, but a 25 percent tariff. So this can make a big difference. And it's important to figure out when you're analyzing product profitability and trying to figure out what you're going to start selling. Once you have both of those numbers, your duty rate and your tariffs, now you know exactly what it's going to cost in terms of taxes to actually import this product from overseas. Now, as you guys can see, this is a pretty stupid system. Uh, it's way more complicated than it should be. And this information changes all the time. So I always like to double check and verify this information in a couple different tools. And that's what I'd recommend you do as well. So let me show you how to actually verify that this product has this 25% tariff and that this is what we're actually going to be charged when we import this product. There's two tools I like to use for this. One is the Flexport HS code lookup, the duty calculator here. And then Freight OS has a duty calculator as well. Both of these tools are really useful to once you know the HS code and once you're confident in it, you can use these tools to pull that same information and just verify that you have the right HS code and you've calculated the right duty rate and tariff rate. And Freight OS's system is really good too. If you can't figure out the HS code, sometimes you can use the Freight OS system to actually identify the right HS code as well. But let me show you how to verify the information you just pulled with the Flexport or Freight OS duty calculator. So what we're gonna do here is look at that same HS code once again. So we saw here that the heading that we went with was the vegetable materials used in plating. And then we went with the bamboo subheader. 
So we're just going to try to select that same category and that same subheader here in Flexport. So typing in bamboo and we see that here's the vegetable plating material thing, uh, the header. And we can see there's tons of different things that we can choose from here. But we are going with the one that we found inside of the actual HTS system, which is the vegetable material used in plating. And ours was the bamboo one. So selecting the exact same and just matching it up with the HS code we've already been using. And we can see here that Flexport says that this is the same HS code that we've already identified. So that's good news. We have the same duty rate that we've identified inside of the HTS system. And just like we found, there's an additional 25% tariff that is applicable when the product comes from China. But now you know how to quickly find the right HS codes that are actually being used for any product out there and determine what duties and tariffs need to be paid if you're actually gonna start importing that product. Whether you're doing the calculations in your head or using a tool like our product research workbook to help, this is gonna allow you to really quickly figure out what products are gonna be profitable for you to actually start selling. Guys, you want additional help with finding those profitable products? Keep in mind, we got a ton of content about that on our YouTube channel. And if you have any additional questions about this, if you have any trouble finding the duty rate, the tariff on your product, feel free to leave a comment below and I'd be happy to help. Guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one.